Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we got a restaurant in a square in Warsaw in Poland. And let's see if we can sort of make it a bit more interesting. First of all, I'm going to straighten it out a bit. It's a little bit wonky. So I'll use the perspective tool here. I keep the grid off here because otherwise it can be a bit confusing. Make sure snapping is not on. And view show grid, which is control single quote. And then we're just going to grab the corners here and move this around until things are pretty much on the horizontals and verticals. So we're looking for this here, looking for useful things like this, you know, all the verticals and horizontals, there's plenty in this picture. Sometimes it's a little bit trickier. But then we can get it to oh, line up just nicely where we want. OK, that's about it. And apply that. Then control single quote to turn off the grid. And let's go to cropping. And when we crop, we're going to look, say, where is the story here? We want to focus and it's in here. So we don't need all this stuff up here. We'll keep a little bit. We'll keep the top down just above those lights up there. And we'll pull this in here to the right. So this guy here is on the edge. And this lady here. And the bottom up just to form that there. And then apply that there. So there we go. We've got that set up there. Now what I'm going to do is really focus in that. So if you right click down here on this tools and the shapes and go to the ellipse. And I want to fill this up with an orange colour. So I can look around, that'll do. And draw the ellipse kind of across here where the, the focus of it all is going to be. Right to touching those two kind of edge pieces there and maybe up a bit here just to get it into that area. Now we're going to add a blur. So we go to Live Filters and Gaussian Blur and turn up the radius of this. Actually, it's not enough all the way up. So I'm going to go into the box here and type in 300. There you go. That's a lot better there. Then I select the shape layer, not the, the blur layer. And I'm going to change the blend mode of that from normal to soft light. And there we go. So I got this lit area here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the bottom layer here because this one here, I want to turn this into a mask. So I go to channels here and see what it says. Composite alpha there. That looks about right. I right click on that and say create a spare channel. And that's going to make a spare channel pop up down here. We can just grab the mask back off that at any time. So we put this back up here. I'm going to go back to the background and I want to put a some curves in. I'll just use to make it darker. Do a little bit of day into night stuff. So put up the curves here and just pull that down so everything goes you know fairly dark. But this area here we don't want. We want to keep that light area on that. So I just right click on the spare channel and say load to curves adjustment alpha. But it's kind of the wrong way around here. So I just click on that and hit Control I to invert it. And there we go. Now I've got the darker areas out there and not this. Let's have a look here. Let's look at that picture there. That looks a little bit on the the bright side there. So I can just turn the opacity down a little bit on that so it makes sense. What else? Let's add a little bit of sharpening in here as well. So I'm going to go to the live filters and the high pass here and change the blend mode to linear light. I can take that um, monochrome to make sure the colors aren't changed and then radius up just a little bit, always below one. That's about it. And then we'll just put the mask into that as well so that it sharpens just our area of focus, not the other area. So right click and then load type pass alpha. And it's got that in there like that. And what else? I'm just going to darken down the top a bit just to hold in the, the image from the top. So I'm going to go to the top here and click on Add Pixel Layer so it comes out above there. And I want to draw a gradient on that just directly. And I go to the Gradient tool here and drag down here like this. And 
We're going to put that again into soft mode, so soft light. But we need to change the colors here, so I click on that. There, go to the top one here. So the circle's bigger this end, so I've got that selected, and I want to make that black. So I just go down to black there, so that's dark at the top. Then go to the other end here, and I'll just make that opacity right down so it's transparent. So I've just got that bit in here, which I can adjust a little bit just to get that darkness across the top, which pulls you down into the main frame here. So there you go. That's very quickly turned a bit of a day into night. A little bit of interesting story of this, what's going on in here and the people around it, keeping it nice and interesting. And we'll go to the history and go, here's the beginning and here's the end. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.